These 007 Barton Pereira Cortier sunglasses are one of three pairs being worn in the movie that's out right now, uh, No Time to Die, the latest James Bond film. And whilst I'm not the world's biggest James Bond fan, I am probably the world's biggest sunglasses fan and I can definitely appreciate these sunglasses. And for me, they're the best of the three from the movie. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why. I filmed a video about six months ago now about the Norton, which is a really cool kind of casual sunglass um, from the collection. And we've also showcased the Joe on the channel, which I think is the, the signature piece, the, the main one that Daniel Craig is gonna be wearing in the movie. But as I say, I, I think this is the one that I personally would have. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one, they're the most versatile. Whereas the Joe is super formal and smart and the Norton is very casual and very kind of outdoorsy. The Cortier is kind of a balance of the two. I think you could really dress these sunglasses up and you can really dress them down as well. And I like that, I think that's very versatile. If you gave me the option of owning both the Norton and the Joe, I would take that option because you've got two completely different looks. But most people tend to have one pair of main sunglasses and if you're gonna have one pair, it should be these out of the three. Not just from a style perspective either, but from a comfort perspective, they are ultra lightweight. These sunglasses are made from titanium. They're handcrafted in Japan as well. And the quality really shows on them. From the filigree detail on the arms to the matte finish on the acetate lens rim, every little detail on these frames is perfect. And Barton Pereira are known for their incredible quality, which is why uh, the studio costume designer approached Barton Pereira. Out of all the sunglass brands in the world, they chose Barton Pereira to design the sunglasses for the movie, and they've done a fantastic job. There is a third reason why I think these are the, my preferred sunglasses from the 007 collection, and that's the tint that's on the lens. I am a huge fan of gradient tints, where it's darker through the top and lighter through the bottom. There's a few reasons for that. Number one, you get really good protection through the top part of the lens, of course, from the sun, which generally is gonna be above you. But I'm one that when I'm out and about, I'm checking my phone quite often, and I really appreciate having the almost clear lens at the bottom, where when I come to read something, it's just like, like normal vision, you're not looking through a tinted lens at all. So I find that really good. It's also quite good for driving in direct sunlight because again, you've got the shielding from the sun, but when you need to see the dashboard, it's a more comfortable view. It's a clearer view, a lighter view a more natural view. So I really like that about them. I do have some criticisms of them, um, mainly just the tint on the lens itself. So whilst I appreciate the gradient effect, I do find the color of the lens not ideal for me. It's a kind of grayish purplish tint, which I personally don't find gives fantastic contrast. In bright sunlight, they're really, really good. But as you'll know, if you've followed this channel for a while, I like sunglasses that protect from the sun, but also sharpen the image that I'm looking at. But as pure sunglasses, they are excellent. They are really, really good. I really preferred the color of the lens in particular on the Norton, which had that bottle green lens. Uh, that was beautiful to look through. That was lovely to look through. Really, really nice contrast and colors when looking through that lens. But this one, not so much. But as I said, as a pair of sunglasses, overall, they are really good. It wouldn't be a deal breaker, I don't think, for most people who tend to wear sunglasses in bright sunlight. I think I'm the exception to the rule where I wear sunglasses kind of most of the time when I'm outdoors. But the lens color is literally the only thing that I can fault with these sunglasses or the only thing that I would change about them really. I love the shape, the size, the fit, the feel. Obviously as an optician you get used to judging the quality of frames when you hold them in your hand and I can tell that these are as good as it gets really. They're as good quality as you could want from a pair of sunglasses. The grade of titanium that they're made from and the fact that they're handcrafted in Japan which is the best region for eyewear manufacturing says everything about them. And that's Barton Prairie's ethos. They don't, they don't cut corners at all. They're not a cheap brand, hence why these sunglasses are fairly expensive. But they're definitely worth it, especially if you're gonna own one pair. It's worth investing in a good pair. And these are definitely worth every penny that they cost. So that's my review of the Barton Pereira 007 Cortier sunglasses from No Time To Die. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.